Hey everyone, my name is Jake and today we are going to be looking at some I Don't Work Here Lady stories, so sit back, relax and enjoy. Plot twist, I used to work here six years ago. I used to work at a very popular high-end grocery store in my area. I worked in almost every department. I started there when I was 15 and took whatever hours I could to make extra money until I finished college when I was 21. I made a lot of friends there. I met my now husband there and this particular store happens to be the nearest grocery store to where I live now. I shop there regularly and pop in to visit some of the friends I made who still work there. Fast forward, it's been 6 years since I left to get a full time job in my career field. Hubby and I are married and now we have a 5 month old son. I had a C section so a few weeks after giving birth, my doctor gave me the ok to drive and a month or so after that, I felt confident enough to go get a couple groceries alone with my little nugget. I put him in a baby wrap so I wouldn't have to lug in his carrier. Anyway, all this is worth mentioning because I just had a baby, so my hair was a wreck, probably had a baby spit on one or both of my shoulders, was basically in pyjamas, and not to mention literally wearing my infant. The other thing that's worth mentioning is that the store in question has recently displaced literally all of their products to make room for a new beer and wine section that they want front and center when you walk in. I used to know where everything was in that store, but that was 6 years ago and before they moved everything. Ok, now here's the story. I don't remember what I was looking for, but I was just standing in front of a shelf when a woman walks up to me, doesn't say hello or excuse me, she just gets in my way so I look up. The kicker is that I actually vaguely recognize this lady. She's a regular and I had probably checked out her items at least a few times while I had been working there. As soon as I made eye contact with her, she asks, Where are the pickles? Oh, uh, sorry, I don't know. Why not? Me, caught off guard and a bit sleep deprived so my brain is not firing on all cylinders. I don't know off the top of my head. If they're going to move everything on me, then you should at least know where it's moved to so that I don't have to wander around the store. Me, feeling like I shouldn't have to point this out due to my appearance and the fact that my infant child is strapped to my chest, I don't work here. Yes you do. Me, contemplating if the last few years were a hallucination and if I do still work here. Um, no, I really don't. Her getting mad now. Yes you do, I've seen you standing at that information stand up front. I realize you're not on the clock now, she gestures vaguely at me, but why can't you just tell me where to find what I'm looking for? I haven't worked here for over 6 years. She just stared at me and said nothing. I was exhausted and just wanting finish up and go home, so I just walked away. Not sure if she didn't believe me or if she just didn't know what to say after realizing her mistake. I feel bad that I wasn't nicer. I know she wasn't very nice to me, but it's not her fault that they rearranged the whole store she's been going to for probably 10 years or more. I was just so tired and not even processing the situation, so I just escaped the first moment I could. I hope that lady found her pickles without harassing anyone else. Just because a grocery store moved stuff around doesn't give you the right to be angry at random people even if they did work there, just go and find it. I've gotten a new job I guess. Yeah, so this happened like just right now. So I'm a student that has a bad part time job with pretty low but not minimum hourly pay. So there is this one coffee shop around where I live that has just recently opened. It's a shop that focuses on freshly made coffee. 
So I was thinking of checking it out. I like coffee, like a lot. But not like drinking it a lot. I like to study about coffee. So I have a huge collection with different beans and grinders. I find it interesting that different coffee mixed together can taste so good. I'm just a guy that's very interested in coffee. So there was this guy, probably new, that was having a hard time grinding coffee beans. Grinding beans by hand is very delicate work and isn't easy by any means. He proceeded to try and find a co-worker to help him but couldn't. So I asked him if he's alright and if he needed help. He asked, do you know how to do this because I'm not very good at it. So I just briefly said that I like to study coffee as a hobby. He then opens the door, like how you see those cowboy movies at a bar, and I go in and help him. Like the coffee maniac I am, I start to help him one after on with the orders, teaching him how to correctly grind and mix, and before I knew it there are these two people standing behind us. One of them, an older woman, starts. Oh, there you are. What are you doing here? The dishes are in the back and I need you to clean it. I don't know how to respond, so the guy I helped said that I was just a customer that offered help. Oh, he's just helping me and teaching me some neat tricks, he said. So the woman took a good look at me and was a bit surprised that I'm not the person she thought I was. She then tasted the coffee and said, surprised, Oh, this coffee is good. Are you a master barista? I just laughed it off and said that I'm just a broke student that likes to study about coffee and wasn't a fancy master barista. I then politely excused myself and was on my way out. Then I heard her saying to me, aren't you interested in working here? She told me that she would be happy to have me working here and maybe even teach them how to make coffee. I was a bit shocked of course. I told her that I was interested. She then told me she was going to pay X amount as hourly pay. Then I was hooked because it was double my existing job. I told her that I will be considering the job and will come again to see them, but in reality I'm going home and calling my boss and telling him that I'm quitting. So I guess I've gotten a new job then? Life is peculiar sometimes. I don't think I've ever heard of someone like that. I didn't know that was a thing like studying coffee beans and the, the art of coffee, I guess. But it sounds good and it got you a double your pay, so let's go. <laughs> Woman irate that multiple kinds of pretzels exist in different places calls manager on me. I just found this reddit yesterday after being directed to it, after I posted an etiquette question in two other places about what to say when being mistaken for a store employee. The big difference I see in most of the posts is that I'm a DSD vendor slash pull-up, which is a person who stocks something in the store for a specific brand, but isn't employed by the store and typically has multiple stores to visit, and typically a distinctly different uniform if any uniform at all. I get easily 5-10 to 10 of these incidents per day and have easily a dozen stories of this nature that are real special, so I'll pick possibly my favourite. One of my route stops is a WM, which I also shop at, so I know where things are generally. This already irate lady storms over to me, clearly not noticing that my clothes do not match an employee's and only seeing that I'm putting things on the shelf. She demands I tell her where the pretzels are because no one else will help her. Well, I don't work here but I do shop here and I know there are several places for them. What kind are you looking for? Just tell me where the pretzels are. Is that not clear enough? Do you want plain ones? Do you want chocolate covered ones? Do you want flavoured? The McDonald's up front sells the big doughy pretzels. 
Just tell me where the pretzels are. Well, the chocolate covered ones are over by the candy, on the other side of the store, that way. Over that way? The customer service here is hideous. Except I don't work here, so your experience with me doesn't count. She storms off. Sometime later, she comes back with a manager, pointing at me for not helping her. Manager looks at me, looks at the lady, looks at me, looks at lady. He doesn't work for us, ma'am. People who work here wear a blue vest. What was it you were wanting to find? Just tell me where the pretzels are. Well, we have multiple places. Do you want the hot and fluffy kind, chocolate covered, the plain salted kind? She finally just leaves the store. Manager and I both just shrug and resume regular tasks. Why was she getting so mad about it? It's pretzels, lady. Like, it's not the end of the world. A British I don't work here. Wanted to share my typically British experience of an I don't work here lady, as it seems so many of our US cousins are really horrible Karens, and thought you guys should see how different it is here. This happened on Saturday Just Gone. I was in Boots, the chemist, at one of their larger shops, looking for some perfume for my wife, when an old lady, must have been 90 if she was a day, comes up to me. Can you show me where the hand cream is, please? I'm sorry, love, but I don't work here. Oh dear, there's never anyone around, is there? They're all on the tills or in the pharmacy. Tell you what, let's go have a look together. After finding the hand creams and other more questionable emollients, thank you, young man. That's no problem. You've made my day. It's a long time since anyone called me young man. Well, you're young compared to me. Thank you again. Let's hope there's someone at the tills now. I have read a lot of stories from the US where there hasn't been like the typical Karen. They've actually been nice like this, but I guess it just happens a lot more over there. <laughs> Threatened to be fired from a job I had just quit. So a little over a year ago, I had started college at a university one town over from where I lived. I decided to just move into dorms to experience the full college life. And as I had no car to drive back home, had to quit a retail job that I had for about a year and a half and turn down a manager position I was just offered. The town I go to college in is pretty small, with the only thing going for it being the university. So there were no clothing stores or entertainment places. My third week of university, a few of my new friends and myself decided to take a trip to my hometown to visit the mall. The store I used to work at was one of those very teen-centric fashion stores that had no sizes to fit my 6 foot 3, 275 pound stature, but I decided to drop by and say hey to my past co-workers. My friends decide to look around the store, so I stay and started looking for a gift for my girlfriend. The mall pretty much prevented security from kicking people out, and only did it as a last option, so it's usually up to the stores themselves to deal with crazy customers. About 10 minutes later, a small Hispanic woman came up and asked if I could open a changing room for her daughter. I politely told her that I did not work there and continued to browse some hoodies. At this point, she got a little aggressive and proceeded to say, Um, yes you do work here. I've seen you here every time I go shopping. I proceeded to explain that I had recently quit and for her to find an associate to help her. This is where she goes full Karen mode. Don't you lie to me. I know you work here. Stop being lazy and do your job. After working in retail for so long, I was tired of putting up with rude customers and practically jumped at the chance to let this lady have it. For the last time, I don't work here. Screw off. 
This Hispanic woman, who was only maybe about 5 foot 3, started cussing and yelling at me in Spanish, which I barely understand, and after a few seconds switches back to English and starts yelling at me to get my manager, and that she'll have me fired. The manager on duty was actually the store manager, who I really liked since she never took any BS from customers, was already on her way over. The woman who realized it was the manager started cussing in Spanish again, and at this point the store manager politely told her to leave immediately in Spanish. This only made the woman angrier, as she spit out more Spanish cuss words that I didn't even know existed, all while her young daughter stood behind her very embarrassed and a little scared. The store manager got fed up and told the lady in Spanish, Get out before I call the police. The lady huffed and with another flurry of curses, turned and started walking. About halfway out, she turned back and said, I'm contacting the district office to have you and that lazy POS fired. The store manager just laughed and said, My sister is the district manager and he doesn't even work here. We both looked at each other and let out a little laugh. I stopped looking for gifts and spent the rest of my time in the store explaining what happened to my friends and talking to the manager about other times situations like this happened when I worked there. Overall, I don't miss retail one bit, but I do miss the people I worked with, especially the store manager. She always had my back, even as a customer. I think the worst bit there was that she had a daughter with her. Like, why would you want to put your daughter in that kind of environment? Wow, those two videos look really appealing. I'm going to have to click at least one of them. Right, guys? Click one of them if you want to see some more stories.